to streamline your workflows, we can use a logical formulas in MS Excel. How to use it? Let's check out on the screen. First of all, let's start with a function. Okay, I'll go with if logical test will be this a B T, and then I will just simply say greater than fifty. Suppose it is a greater than fifty, then show me the result as a pass. Otherwise, show me a fail. And back and close with enter. I'll just do a control D over here is equal to and and just say B2 greater than here from your keyboard. I'll say 40, comma. Again, I'll just select this once again, lesser than 60. Okay, so this is the criteria which I'm giving it over here. Okay, so 40 to 60 value I just need. If this value is available, show me. Otherwise, it will give show as a false. Okay, so this is the value falls in 41. And uh, if I go ahead, it is a 45. If I go ahead and uh, check for R, let's say R. Okay, I'll select this. It's greater than 10. Okay, comma. Again, I'll just select this less than 5. Back and close, hit enter. This will show me the entire values will be true. And here, if you do observe over here, these are the false. So, why we have used this to flag an exchange, okay, to catch an outliers? Where is the outliers? And now, this one is very important and it's very basic one, but very important one. If not, and then I'll just select this is equal to 10. Okay, let us select this formula and I'll hit enter. So this gives me not flex a logic one to find those not scoring a so and so uh, score which we have applied over here, which is 10. Now let's move ahead and check if, if error over here. If error, let's just say, suppose I want to do a division like this, and uh, every time we get this division error, right? To avoid this error, what we can do over here, instead of this division, simply just say if error. Okay, I will just do a calculation over here first, like this, comma, and value would be over with the prompt what I want. Okay, like this particular text, back and close, hit enter, and then set it to a control D over here. You can see instead of hitting those errors, now we can see those particular text has been added over here. I hope you found this useful, folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.